So, I watched me... I watched me Deadpool 2 the other night. My wife bought it home on a DVD from the Red Box. And, it, wow, you know, if you're a fan of the first film, if you've never seen the first film, Deadpool, uh, I highly recommend it. If you've never seen it, go out and check it out right now. But, if you're a fan of the first film, you will really, really, really enjoy this. I did. It's got almost everything that the first one has. Now, I have heard some comments to the idea uh, from a man, Mr. Deconverted Man, that it's a little bit too forced. It's trying too hard. Now, I found that kind of true in the first 25 minutes to a half an hour. It's a little too meta. In other words, it's too self-conscious. It's too wink-wink, joking around, breaking the fourth wall, commenting on its own action, commenting on its own writing. It's cool in small doses, but it starts to get a little bit too much of that, and you start to feel like you're watching something that, you know, it starts to degenerate the whole thing that you're watching. But this is only a problem for the first half hour or so, because there's an actual plot to the, to the action of the film. There's a kid who is a mutant who gets sent to prison in, at the beginning to start the action rolling, and once you start getting into the actual plot of the film, there's a really, really, really good forward momentum. Matter of fact, it just takes you very quickly from scene to scene to scene in really, really brief, exciting ways. Now, that's a skill that the, these type of superhero action movies either excel at or they're terrible at. There are some that are really, really bad at this. Forward momentum is everything in these movies. For the best possible example of what I'm talking about, you got to go back to Raiders of the Lost Ark. If you've never seen the movie, check it out. It's absolutely great. But one of the reasons it's great is it puts its foot on the gas and it never lets up. Right from the moment you're watching the film, you're like, what? Barely pauses to catch your breath before you're hurtled into the next exciting thing. And it keeps you going the whole time. This does some of that. Forward momentum is everything in these movies. Some of, some of the ways they've been getting sloppy of late is the end scene usually now is a half an hour, 35 minute set piece that, quite frankly, I usually fast forward to if I'm at home. <laughs> you start to get sick of. You're like, okay, and then the, the hero and the villain are going to be grappling on the edge of some burning thing, and they're right about to fall, and oh my God, is he going to die? Oh my God, is, and the world is right about to end. And they start to get tiring because there's a, there's, a, there's a cliche version of this. This doesn't do any of that. None of it. It, it actually manages to be give you the best of both worlds. It is a, a satirical wink wink self-referential send-up of itself at the same time that it's actually a pretty good structured superhero film it's really pretty good as if you just took the jokes out and just made it an action film it would succeed it's exciting and it's good and it's well told and it moves quickly so even on its on its basic structure it's really good throw in all the jokes and the winking at its own expense and and then it's absolutely brilliant it's hilarious it manages to be both things successfully. Winking at you and commenting on itself and having a good time making fun of itself at the same time that it's telling a really fun, good story and you're enjoying it on both levels. At least I was. I was totally, totally into it. I absolutely loved it. May have liked it better than the first film. I mean, some of these lines are classic, too. Brilliantly funny. You know, who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> awesome. Classic. Brilliant. Uh, dubstep is for pussies. And it's true. There's truth in the movie. Dubstep is for pussies. That's the God's honest truth, people. Dubstep is for pussies. And the movie tells it straight to you. So, I found it absolutely just a perfectly enjoyable way to spend two hours. It was almost everything I wanted to be. If you are a fan of the first movie, that means you are a fan of this type of project. At the same time, it's a superhero movie. It is a send-up of itself. It is satirizing itself, winking at you, making fun of itself the whole time. If you liked that in the first film, this, this one is a little bit better. It's a little bit funnier. It's a little wittier. It's much more fast-paced. and They're both really good, but maybe it's just this is the last one I saw, so I like this one a little better. But I liked it a little better than the first one. I think it's absolutely great. Absolutely brilliant. If it's your thing, you're going to love it. So that is my advice to you. Do yourself a favor. Check it out, people. 
Deadpool 2. Amen.